Hey, what's going on, neighbors? I want to welcome y'all back to another episode of Pure Quality K9. It's your boy DJ. Y'all see who we got in the background, man? Got the dogs cutting up right now. We're going to get to them in a second, y'all. But um, I got a very touching and important subject I want to talk to y'all today about. And um, that subject, the reason it comes about, because there was an incident um, that kind of hit close to home um, where a fellow friend was attacked by his dog, y'all. And it got me to thinking. Um, it's something I want to touch on, y'all, because I get asked a lot, you know, um, am I ever scared or afraid or, you know, do I ever worry about being back here with my dogs or they're doing something to me, y'all? And I'm going to tell you the truth, y'all. It's never crossed my mind. Um, that's never a subject I even think about. And everybody's situation different, y'all. Um, everybody's situation different. I've had dogs all my life. Hey, y'all, chill out. I had dogs all my life, y'all. Um, never have I had a dog where I ever thought that for some reason or other that a dog would attack me or hurt me. I just never had a dog like that. But y'all, we see it does happen um, on the daily. Um, as early as I want to say this year, earlier this year, maybe been late last year, you know, we heard about the story in LA where the guy was attacked, you know, in his backyard was killed. Um, by a number of his dogs. They ain't for sure. He, I think he had maybe 11, 12 dogs back there, y'all. Um, he was found dead in one of their cages. Um, so it does happen. And the reason I bring that up, like I say, a story I want to tell you about is something that kind of hit close to home that just happened recently. Um, a friend of a friend, y'all, he had came home the other day from work and he noticed his window was busted out. Before we get on the subject, I want to tell y'all too, um, I was told that the dog was a pit bull. Now, I want to use that term pit bull loosely, y'all, because y'all know a lot of times when dogs attack um, and they kind of look like a pit bull, y'all, um, they fall up under that umbrella. You know, a lot of times when I go live, people ask me, um, or certain of my dogs, especially like Baby Runt, is he a pit bull? I've been asked... Um, if uh, Scoop is a bully. So there's a lot of dogs, masters even, that kind of sometimes will do things and fall up under that pit bull umbrella. So I'm not saying for sure if this is a pit bull. Um, in my mind, without even seeing this dog, I imagine it was some form of bully, y'all. But um, I just want to touch on that real quick so we can kind of get a, a picture of the character that was involved. But anyways, guy got home from work the other day and he noticed his window was busted out. So he goes in the house and um, he immediately noticed it was his dog. His dog had busted the window out. The reason his dog had busted the window out, his neighbor got three female dogs. I don't know the breed or whatever, but um, they're in heat. So um, this dog was trying his hardest to get out the house. So as soon as my man gets home, notice his window busted out. You know, I, I imagine he kind of fussed at the dog. Um, or whatnot, I'm not for sure, don't hold me to that, but um, he lets his dog out. His dog immediately runs outside the house, I guess was able to get to the females, mounts on the females, y'all, and uh, does his business. Dude eventually gets his dog into the house, closes the door, you know, starts to clean up, and I don't know what happened there, y'all, but this is kind of what I heard. He kind of had fussed at the dog, you know, telling him to um, go inside his kennel this cage, you know, because the dog stayed in the house with him. He said fussing with the dog, the dog basically attacked him, y'all. Ran at him, um, bit him on the hand, tore his hand up pretty bad. Um, I hear you know, I'd almost lost a finger. But anyways, um, he, the dog did a lot of damage to my man. Um, he had to put the dog down, y'all. And it's sad, it's real sad in a way, man. And um, I hate it for him because, you know, one, his dog attacked him, y'all. He's hurt. Um, I can imagine, you know, he got some doctor bill now. He's probably going to have to be out of work for a while. Um, a lot of come, dog, things come with that. But at the same time, too, y'all, he had this dog for some years. He had a lot of love for this dog. And um, I imagine that had to be painful for something that you grew up, that you raised, fed, cared for, stayed up under your house to eventually attack you, y'all. Um, this is what I will say on the stories I done heard. I just don't know, y'all. 
I ain't got no answer for it, man. Like I said, I had dogs all my life. I never had a dog in any form of fashion even act like it wanted to turn on me. So a lot of times, um, me being the person I am, I kind of lean towards operator error. What was that owner doing wrong? You know what I mean? What, what mistakes was they making? Or at the same time, too, what signs were they overlooking? Because this is the thing, y'all. Um, Sometimes it's been shown, it's been proven can just be in some of these dogs' blood that they're just man killers, you know what I mean? They can just, at some point in time, they just turn, and um, when that switch gets turned on, um, any and everything in its vicinity is in trouble. Kind of, if y'all think about too, I don't know if y'all was up on the subject, but late last year, early last year, um, they had that band in UK, y'all, and it was a kind of a bully breed band where I know a lot of the bullies and some masters, like I said, fell up under that umbrella, y'all. And uh, a lot of people in the UK and over there in England had to get rid of their dogs for the simple fact that um, bully type dogs were attacking people. Not only uh, innocent bystanders, dogs when they was out on walks, but were shown to be attacking um, a lot of times their owners, y'all. And reason I bring this subject up, y'all, I just want y'all to be aware of what you do with your dog, y'all. What you do with your dog. If, if, you, if you know you ain't gonna have time to put in with that dog and, the, and, and show it the love and care, because that's all I can think about, man. That's all I do for my dog, y'all. I don't do nothing special. I just make sure they're housed, they're fed, um, they're healthy, and I'm out here with them, y'all. So that's one of the reasons, too, um, I don't worry, because it ain't no situation where they're on a chain and they're always in the kennel, and every blue moon I'm letting them out, the, out their cages and they're acting in ways, but um, I don't know why or I'm not picking up on certain cues that, you know, this dog's not respecting me. Um, if any one time that these dogs change up, if that was to happen, like I say, I'm always out here with it, always, and I'm gonna be able to pick up on it quick. And that's all I can really advise people to do. And then at the same time too, um, be very mindful, um, like I told you before, about the breeder, about the line of dog y'all getting, because it was kind of shown um, hell, even with press canaries, y'all, um, back in the early 90s was a bad case in uh, San Francisco, California, where uh, a owner, a female, had came home in two of her press canaries, and that's what gave press canaries a real bad name for a while. But at the same time, y'all, um, it can be all dogs. You know, for the longest, it's been three of the most breed, three of the breeds that were the most known for attacking people, y'all, were um, the pit bull the German Shepherd and the Rock Rottweiler. Um, for a long time, y'all, them three breeds held the rain for um, attacking people, y'all. So, you know, it really doesn't matter the type of dog you got. I will say this, man, it really comes down to, like I say, knowing that line, where that dog come from, the type of work it's been used for, because uh, all that's gonna eventually show up, man. Um, if you got any time or any suspicion that the dog you're looking for or the people that's keeping them dogs, um, they're not taking care of them at the same time, too, that them dogs might have attacked people, especially their owner, y'all. Um, I advise you, stay away from them dogs, y'all. Stay away from the dog. There will be nothing but trouble. Um, I love my dogs, y'all. I love them dearly. But if I ever, ever seen a situation where I'm thinking um, that they're in their mind, they might switch on me or on the general public, y'all, um, I'm going to do what I got to do. I definitely ain't going to keep a dog around like that because um, as much as we love these dogs, y'all, they're still animals. Uh, we got to do the smart thing, you know what I mean? Um, we domesticated these, and we try to domesticate a lot of things. Uh, it ain't only dogs, y'all. Uh, <laughs> you know, we've heard stories about monkeys, people trying to keep monkeys and um, getting hurt, snakes, um, birds, um, fish. Man, the, the list goes on, y'all. Um, we try to take these animals, but at the same time, too, we don't realize that they got a history, y'all, um, and sometimes they can revert back to that. So just be mindful, y'all. Be mindful, be careful. I just wanted to tell y'all about that, man, because, um, like I say, that story kind of hit close to home, but at the same time, too, um, he had to put down his dog, y'all. You know what I mean? He's hurt. He's hurt. Um, I'm pretty sure he's a little shell-shocked at the same time. His dog that he loved and he done raised up um, is no longer, y'all. That's how bad that dog had did him. 
You know what I mean? His own owner. Like I say, y'all, I'm just a... Hey, it's something I don't worry about, man. Not too much with my dogs, y'all. Not too quick. You know, if anything, I'm making sure, you know, they don't do damage to each other. But um, me as an owner, I'm going to do what I got to do to make sure that love's there, y'all. Y'all see everybody out here chilling, man. I'm just now getting out here from getting home from work. Y'all let everybody out there cage. Uh, they pretty much been out here for about the last hour by themselves. Um, just doing what they do. I don't know what's well. I kind of do know what's going on, on y'all. Y'all see, I done. These are all, these holes right here are coming from my females, y'all. So, like I say, I've been telling y'all the last couple of days, I'm suspecting some of them should be going in heat soon. So, um, in my mind, y'all, that's kind of a sign of nesting. Um, just one of the little signs that your dog might be going in heat. Um, a good mother will do stuff like that. <laughs> Start digging holes and little burrows. that right ain't that right girl <laughs> y'all this is my molly right here y'all i know i don't give y'all much views of her man y'all check layla out man y'all noticed um what's that season man squirrels having babies and everything y'all um this is my real life hunter right here y'all see everybody down here she plays this fence. Cause she's actually, she done caught squirrels, y'all. Um, I don't know if they slip up or if she jumps up or they lose a footing or what, y'all. But um, she can definitely catch a squirrel, y'all. So um, she's playing this fence right now. They've been running around playing. They better be on their P's and Q's today cause I got a real live hunter out here. <laughs> she looking at trying to catch something. But hey, y'all, I hate to bring y'all such a disheartening topic. Um, at the end of the week, I posted, I actually have been back earlier this week, and that post had been there for Talk Your Shit Tuesday, man, but been real busy around the house, around the, um, just around the home, and at the same time work, y'all, just preoccupied, wasn't able to put a video together like I want to. Like I say, man, I try to give y'all the best, the best I can. <laughs> hey. That being said, y'all know I don't start with them. I'm always going to finish with it, man. Make sure y'all hitting that like, subscribe button, hitting that notification bell so y'all don't miss nothing we got going on. It's end of the week, y'all. Um, I might try a three-peat, y'all. Friday, drop a video Saturday. Then y'all know I'm going to come back Sunday, man, to give y'all a little something, man. We ain't going to worry about the algorithm, y'all. I'm going to flood y'all timeline in case it's a boring weekend. Um, it's sunny right now, but you know that rain, um, it will come. So if y'all need something to do, y'all know y'all can come to YouTube and check out something I got going on. With that being said, appreciate y'all coming through, man. We out. Y'all lucky been hiding out. Whole video. What's up, man? You decided to make an appearance? Decided to make an appearance? I think Scoop been getting on his nerves, y'all. your mama like that for a boy. Yeah, 
Yeah, y'all, that girl going in here, man. That's no signs right there. Lucky really want to jump on him, but he know better. That's why he was hiding out this whole video, man. Well, Lucky want him a piece of something so bad, but he know he can't do nothing with Skip out here. Look, he gonna walk away now. You know, it ain't no use even sniffing. He don't want them type of problems yet. We out, y'all.